time for your favourite show on television. You are watching Trending with me. And have I said it's so good to see you guys? No, I haven't. You guys, I'm really, really happy to be here. I know you guys missed me. Yes, I missed myself too. My name is Token Makiwa and this is Heap TV. Today on Trending, I have an exciting guest. He is an actor and we will drill him and then we'll read his nasty comments and then we'll have fun with it just like we do so we will drive right into all of this right after this quick break we'll be right back they say you're only young ones sample your sweat You're young at heart, you're young forever! Come alive with Airtel. And it's good to have you guys back. Now, if you just tuned in, you haven't missed quite a lot. I am about to introduce my guest for today. Now, today in the building, I have the super sexy. He's an actor, he's a model, and of course, he's a ladies' man. His name is Bero Achibari. Hi, Bero. Yay. Welcome to Trending. Durum, 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 durum. He's where you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Do you want to give a shout out? <laughs> to you? Oh my gosh, you lost the line. You know when you go, thank you, thank you very much. I'd like to give a shout out to my mommy, my daddy. Oh, oh my God, I'm famous, I'm on TV. Oh, you don't know that? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so hi, how are you? I'm good, very well, thank you. Nice to have you here. Same here, fantastic show. I'm loving the sets, loving the colors. And, thank you. Know. So when you walk by to Girls Faint, uh, not yet. <laughs> really? Because you've got a really cute face and of course you've got a body for days. Ah, I blush. Check out my rhymes. Really cute face, body, body for days. days. I should go into rapping, don't you? You know, you know. I might be a nice female MC. <laughs> so what's up with you? What have you been up to? Uh, right now I'm just chilling. Um, I actually took a break off since so. You did? I did. You can do that? Yes, I can. So is this the part where they... It's been seven years. Really? Come on. It's been seven years already? Yeah. Uh, what I actually took the break was because, um, you know, it's a daily soap we shoot every day. Mm. Just imagine me shooting for the past seven years. Wow. Yes, you know, so this break is for me to do other stuff, you know. How long is this break for? Uh, for now, it's going to be for five months, you know. I'm oh my extended. gosh. So well, <laughs> what is the ideal time that you wake up now? Like two, sometimes four. <laughs> so when you were filming, what time did you have to wake up? Uh, I'll have to wake up like 4 a.m. In the because, morning? Yes, you can't afford to be late. You have to be on set for 6. Trust me, you'd rather not come on set than to be 5 minutes late. And you can't afford not to be late at all. I never really so, thought the life of an actor was this stressful. I'm telling you, yes. You know, at the end of the day, you know, that's what we talk about, having passion for what you do. Yeah. Because it's not just about the money. Challenges like this is a passion that will keep you moving. Yeah, I wouldn't see movement at all. I can't, you know, I can't help but see the muscles because you work out a lot, don't you? Yes, I do. And I'm you're addicted. ripped, aren't you? I'm addicted. You need to take off your top just a bit. Uh, they would love to see that. I actually love to take off my clothes. Oh my I don't God. think I can for the it's camera. It's such a show-off, isn't he? <laughs> you are such a show-off. Now, let's talk about where it all began. When did you start acting? Oh, okay. Um, Tinsu was actually my first. Okay. You know, and big ups to them, big ups to Mnet for opening that world for me. You wow. Know, um, what I've come to understand over time is that we as human beings, we act on a daily basis. Mm. You're acting to me as well. True. Yes. You know, you have your own issues, but you look at you looking all beautiful, smiling. Well, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you know, so um, modeling actually got me into acting. Okay. Modeling is something I started from my 200 level. You know, I grew up in Benin State. Wow. Uh, I was Are you from there? No. Okay. I'm from Kogi State. Okay. I was born in my degree. Uh, I spent two years in Joss. Then wow. Makodi Benin State when my dad resigned from Ninth because, you know, the... You guys had to move a lot? Yeah, had to move. Wow. I had to all the way down. So when he resigned, we started all over again. Okay. So I was waiting for medicine from Benin State University. But uh, somehow, some way, they shoved me aside. Through me to biology education, I 
eight in my course. Wow. As much as I knew my course made final year, second semester. Okay. You know, so somewhere along the line, I was, my friends forced me into doing the Mr. Campus as at that time. And that was... Did, like you, the, did you have dreadlocks then as no, well? No, I used to braid my hair. I love playing my hair. Wow, yeah. so you've always grown your hair? I've always, always, always. How, all the how time. did your parents feel about that? It's funny because they've always been supporting me all the while. Okay. You know, I have a lot of piercings. This was the first by my kid sister in front of my parents. They were having lunch. She came, ah, bro, do you like this my hair? I'm like, ah, joke out for now. What's up? She said, I can give you if you want. What do you want? Oh, okay. <laughs> she did that right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, less than five seconds, and that was it. Oh my god. And um, finishing my um, schooling from Benicia University, mm. I ran to Lagos, you know, ran, literally. Do your ran. family still live out yeah, there? Yeah, they're still there. Okay. You know, so I came to Lagos knowing fully well that here is like the heart of entertainment mm. in Nigeria. Mm. So I started pushing modeling professionally. I did, I've done so many, over 2 million fashion shows, you know, I've done a couple of TV commercials, billboards, and stuff. Then I got this SMS telling me to go for a TV commercial for Emmet. Oh, wow. Don't want to be old. I didn't know that was And I went there, they gave me scripts to read. I read the scripts. I'm like, they're giving me scripts for a TV commercial. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. I told me, I was like, okay, probably playing the lead role. Yeah, you know, I have to maybe. sell the brand. Mm. Only for them to call me like five weeks later. Yo, okay, you have to come to this place. I didn't believe the story up until when I saw other cast from different countries. I'm like, okay. Wow, this is yeah, major. Yes, this is big. So, At that point, did you feel like, wow, my life is about to change? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, those moments, <laughs> I'll tell those you. moments of clarity where you think, Ooh, exactly. "Is this me?" You know, you be feeling weird. I know, I know. I feel it. So, <laughs> how how has the journey been so far? It's been seven years. Have you know the highs, the lows, the in betweens? How has everything been, panned out for you? In one word, outstanding. Why? Because on Tinsel sets, we learn everything not just as actors but as filmmakers. You mm. know, I get to see. The life of the cameraman, I got to see the life of the boom swingers, the lightning. Like now, I can prop, I can light it scene properly. You can. Yes, that's the interesting thing. I've been wow. learning. It's like a total package. You know, there are times when I have to leave the set to go to the box to discuss with the directors to know mm. the kind of shots they want. You know, to know. I don't know where to start from, but I mean, it's been amazing. Yeah, you learn and, every day on Tinsel set. And then for, for like soap operas like that, because when I watch like some international soap operas, mm -hmm. and you hear them think like, you know, when they're about to end, people cry because it's like a family. You know, so do you think you have like a family with Tinsel? Of course, of course. From you guys are close? Big, it's funny because um, we had one rule from the very first episode. Really? You know, yes, because that will help you. You know, just okay. imagine you playing like a teleman. Like, oh, you're teleman. So you even know, in real life, when you guys see each other, you call yourself your I'm used to it. Someone like Chooks, I don't think I can ever call him by his real name. What is his say, real name? Because I don't even Ike know. Ike Chuku, Ike Chuku. You see, <laughs> that's Ike. I just know him as Chuku. I'm Chuku. like, okay, yo, how fun? I'm Ike. I'm Ike Chuku. I'm like, Ike Chuku. Who's Ike Chuku? They're like, Ike Chuku, now you're going to. Oh, Chuks, my man. Oh, Chuks. And I'm like, oh. Let me tell you another one that's so, so, it sticks to me, Shalewa. Like, I can never yeah. call Tommy, Tommy. I see her all the time. I find myself calling her Shalewa, and then I realize, oh my God, this is actually not Tinsel. She has a real name. And guess what? She'll be used to it. I know, she, cause she because right now, me. I find myself when I'm outside, when someone says Soji, I'll be the first person to even turn. To look at whoever is calling Sajid than the real Sajid that they're looking for. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys at Tinsel? I mean, like four people, two sets of couples, two sets of couples actually have gotten married. Mm -hmm. First it was Chooks, and then Dami and Chris. Now, did you guys uh, know they were dating? Yes, we did. Was it awkward sometimes? No, it wasn't. Okay, uh, did she ever have to kiss you at some point and he was there? Yes, no. And how did like he feel? seven million times. And how did he feel? Uh, of course, he had the silly as work. Um, Are you guys close? Very close. Are you kidding? <laughs> so are you gonna be at the wedding? Yes, of course. So how did I'm you the guys? Man. <laughs> you are. Stop it! And in Tinsel, you guys have this love. You know. Oh my like god. Like a love triangle. <laughs> no, well, well done to the uh, to the writer of Tinsel. Now you guys podcast. are making me feel real. Well, like I'm the very unserious one. Well, well I heard. Let me tell you what I heard. I heard you're dating someone on Tinsel as well. No, not yet. Osas. Not yet. Okay, you're planning to. Anybody on Tinsel? You're planning to date her. No. Well, you know what? He's actually confusing me right now, so I'll take this moment to go on a break. If you just tuned in, welcome, welcome. I have Bero Adibadi. 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 I don't know why that. Ah. I don't know why that keeps going in my head. I've got him in the building. We're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, I will drill him some more. I need to find out who that girl is. Mm -hmm. And let's see the plans he has to also date a cast member from Tinsel. We'll be right back. Back to the matter. 
Seriously? Would you honestly wear three wristwatches all at the same time? So why carry multiple SIMs? Introducing Airtel Talk More, a great new product with which you can call any network at the same low rate and enjoy up to 200% more value on calls, SMS and data with your Airtel line, making it fun to stay connected to family and friends. You also get five times bonus on your daily usage. Dial star 234 hash to activate. Come alive with Airtel. Welcome back. You guys are watching Trending on Hip TV. My name is Token Mackin and of course I've got the gorgeous, the stunning, the sexy, the ladies man, the guy who walks and everyone just faints. Mm -hmm. The very good looking Beiru Ajibadi. I've got the last name right this time. Yes, it's right. Didn't my I? pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, would you ever go into Nollywood, Nollywood? Of course, you know. Um like I said, one of the major reasons why I took a break was because I needed to um, challenge myself more. I needed to do more stuff. Because you know? haven't been in any. No, movie not yet. Funny enough, I did one. Uh, the Wage is actually won an award that they recently completed. Wow, recently, yeah. well done. I saw Vikichi Gash and George. Well done. Thank well you. done. Thank That's you. good. So, would you like to pursue you know, stuff like that more? Yeah, of course. I want more um, challenges, like I said. Mm. Uh, besides, there's this part of me where I'm trying to take what I do for fun into. Real life. Real life. So roughly, how many hours do you spend in the gym? Roughly how many hours? I follow my mood. If okay. I have no appointment, I can sleep in the gym. Yes, I've been... Uh, the last time something like that happened was at um, Planet Fitness, New York. Uh, I was carried away. You know, they have this gym, three floors, they have everything. You know, so you just want to touch every machine. I went at about midnight. And I noticed at some point in time I was walking out and I was admiring someone's shirt. I'm like, oh, that shirt is it's not bad. It's not bad. But oh, come, why am I seeing this shirt now? It was morning. It was morning. <laughs> you spent the whole night in I'm the gym. Oh me. my gosh, yeah. you're such a freak. You know, and once you have the right music on, you know what you're looking for. You're good to go. How does your girlfriend feel about that? She's used to it. I mean, she probably can't be overweight now, can't no. she? No. It's not a lot in the family. Oh, well, that's <laughs> Talking about New York, I know that you were away for a long time mm -hmm. modeling. So you also mo model yeah. internationally? Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Well, um, it's good because um, at the end of the day, I never expected it. Because okay. the first one I saw, the first one I got involved with was the African New York Fashion Week. And when they sent me the email that she sent the recording of myself, sent my jobs mm. for them to select and like it was just it felt like since you know that feeling we're talking about yeah. i didn't know it was true up until when they invited me down you know i was in my hotel room and did they, they fly me, you over they did, they did. <laughs> oh i like that i like you know, that yeah. so how do you feel about modeling internationally should be told is an amazing feeling you know the fact that you are going to um do what you've been doing here internationally wow. meeting different people different models you know. so how did you get recognized uh, I was recommended by someone that came for Arise Fashion Week. Do you know you and Uti have like my? I mean, you guys are so alike. I, I'm sitting here and I can see the mannerisms. You guys, you know, kind of talk alike and kind of gesticulate alike. But I still well. investigating. Someone did something. Oh. And, you know, not, none of our parents are telling us yet, but we'll find out. Monday. You see, that's so. <laughs> so right there. What do you do apart from when you're not on TV, when you're not modeling, or maybe when you're not spending the whole night in the gym? <laughs> what do you do to relax? Like, how do you have fun? Um, first of all, work out. That's I just true. said exercise. Yes, um, you but you know, it's part of it now. I won't lie. I won't go and add what I don't do. Okay, so apart so, from. Being on TV, modeling, and working out, what else do you do? Martial arts. That's the part of workout, right? <laughs> do you ever go to the cinema? Do you ever I do, I do, yes. If they have uh, cartoons, I watch cartoons a lot. You I do? So you're a baby at heart? I think so. <laughs> it's so funny. And I play a lot of video games. Okay. A lot. There are times when I won't go out at night and remember I'm doing skill, doing skill in the club. I'm like, mm, God of War, how will I pass this stage? Okay, I have to do this, do this, do this. Then I'll start running back over. <laughs> Stop it. I'm telling you, it happened even last weekend. <laughs> so, what is your girlfriend like? Because it's very interesting to, to know she, the kind of person you're with because I'm putting exactly. a sense of who you are. So, totally. I'm just trying to get a sense of who she is. Uh, she is more on the quiet side, even okay. though. I think I have a particular percentage of that too, but I think it boils down to love. You know, she tries yeah, to acceptance. accept me for who I am. Mm. You know, because trust me, there are times where I'll have serious things to do and I'll blame God of all. 
Is that a dick to you? Yes. <laughs> come on, please. No, babe. One minute. I don't want to have this thing. Okay, so what is your favorite body part? Hmm, my favorite body part. Out of which and which body parts? Just as a, you know, just this is Bero Ajibadi. And I like my arms. This is Bero Ajibadi and I like my legs. This is Bero Ajibadi and I like that. Mm. This is Bero Ajibadi and I like my face. What's I your favorite? I like that one more. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, we're going to go on a quick break again. When we come back, guys, you can guess what's coming up next, can't you? Let me help you guys. It's nasty comments. Of course. <laughs> Hey guys, it's time for the favorite part of this show. Well, I named it favorite because I think that you guys like it as much as I do. You know, all of you guys get excited. Look, his heart is beating. He's like, <gasps> calm down. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Did you say so? so this is the nasty comment segment and I will pass this over to you. Like First, that. let me ask you, what is the most hurtful thing you've ever heard about yourself? That I was gay. Are you? <laughs> are you curious? Are at you, all! I, I, I don't want to. As a curious to. face, as well. No, 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 at all. I don't want to. Okay, but I mean, check the difference. Okay, you understand. Yeah, well then, do, do, do gay guys find you... Do they hear yes, you or yes, not? Yes, yes, yes. Because I can see why you'd be a poster child for, you know, gland. <laughs> they used to, you know. Um, it used to piss me off at first, you know, but... At the end of the day, I learned to accept them for... Because there are some, you, you can even kill them in the process, and they'll still kill them. Have you ever had to fight someone? Oh my gosh, I wish I saw that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pass it over to you and then you All can right. go through your main comment. Hmm. Um, so, Sonia, this is not fashion. Yeah, the clothes are okay, but the weave or whatever is on the model's head and makeup and pouting. Was and that pout? your picture? I should be asking you. These are the comments you gave me to read. And pouting is ridiculous. If he thinks that's where fashion began, he... Are you kidding me? Did you have to walk in a wrong way? I mean, when you go to the NGOs, did you? No, you're not even allowed to. You have to keep that straight. It's not about you, it's about what you're wearing mm. on the runway. Mm. If it's for um, photography modeling, yes, then you know it has to do with expressions in your face. That's mm -hmm. why anyone can be a model with um, photography modeling. I'm a model with photography modeling. Of course. Modeling. I model myself every day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but do you pout? Hell no, I don't. Really? If, I, if I'm to be pouting, what would you be doing? So in short, you just call me the queen of parting, right? Do I? Pout? No, I'm giving an example, like okay. me, a man, I'm parting. What will you? I would say you're fabulous and you're <laughs> gone with the wind. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. Okay, the next one about my photo. I don't know which of the pictures. Um, he should have shown us everything. I don't know what has come over our Nigeria celebrity. I can imagine what the way this person is feeling. I right can now. tell you what photograph they're talking about. Which one? So it was the day before <laughs> Mero's birthday. We woke up that morning to Mero releasing photos of himself half naked. Half naked. Quarter naked. Half is at least there's something for me. Quarter naked. It was only like a string that went across. I can tell why. That's the normal thing every model wants to do. Mm. Yes, because I mean, there are times when I've done so many fashion shows where we had to change backstage. In fact, there was no backstage. So the male and female, female models were naked, completely naked. Mm. You know, so that one is even small. What I wanted to release was even worse than that, but I mean, I had to come well, down. Well, let's just go. Please don't scare me. Okay, the next one. I hate this kind of thing. He surely looks dirty. Oh. Oh. Okay. His pose on the bed isn't sexy. It's gay. Do you think that pose is gay? No, I thought it was very... Okay. Mm. This guy and Kiwi Polish. Now who black person? Kiwi Polish. Oh my days. Ah, that's not bad. Is that all? Oh, but the, the main comments were not so bad. I mean, it was mean, but not as mean as some. I've seen. I've seen a couple of you know celebrities come here, and oh, really? they have had it really, really, really bad. No celebrity is immune to mean comments on the internet. Everyone, you know, just says that's whatever they want to say. And it's say. funny because some of these people are not even from Peter Literate. You can tell from Yeah, the from the way they write. It's funny How do you feel about that? I never read any of the comments. Never. This is my first time to read really? comments. Yeah, I don't. I just... Yeah, but you brushed it off like it was nothing. Which that... is good. <laughs> Which is good. Right. So thank you for coming. Thank you very much. It's been really nice having you. I had so much fun. Thank I did you for too. Me. And you've got a trend so we can have you back here again. Maybe do like a complete naked photo shoot. Yes, that's the plan. That that's way we would have you here. That will bring me back to the show. I'm going to do it of next course. Week. 
next week guys you've heard that you guys have to watch out for when we were at he's coming out with some and that's a pose that's a pose we didn't start thinking it was fun wasn't it how about you guys checking out the top five trending tv series now they say you're only young ones Young at heart, you're young forever. Come alive with Airtel. At number five on the top five trending series is The Walking Dead. The chamber in the safety up. Number four is House of Cards. And casualties. I need to prove what the vice president is capable of. I know you'll do whatever you think is best. I need to know that I wasn't a part of someone's... Finish your thought. Part of someone's murder. You cannot run away from this. But he's a dangerous man. We can be dangerous too. I did my part. Now put it to bed, Doug. I won't submit myself to this sort of exposure again. The tip of your iceberg is melting, Frank. Mr. President, you would be making a disastrous mistake. So this goes all the way to the White House. It might. I told you to stop backchanneling. I can turn this around, sir. You are out of line, Frank. I had no choice but to retaliate. We need to invite a full frontal attack. I don't think that's a good idea, sir. Sitting at number three on the top five trending series is Lecky Wife Season 2. From the beginning has been a plan. Oh, my sweat! <laughs> my nipple! You have been stooping around my house. What exactly are you looking for? I haven't I tried enough to, to, to make you happy? <laughs> now you're the only one that can help me get that closure, Grace. Let's leave it like that, please. Let's leave it like that. How much did he pay you? He gave me. Shut up there! I'm gonna teach you a lesson you will never forget. I'm sorry. I thought she was my packet. My friend, your package. <laughs> I will force that truth out of you tonight. Don't SMS me. Don't ping me. Nada. You are dying at all. Victor? Yes. Father. Hey, Lele. You're not worried. My dear, Victor now seizes any and every opportunity to get out. Coming in at number two is Scandal. He needs a favor. I need to see him. That's not possible. He wants the favor. I do not work for him anymore. So you tell the President of the United States to make time. In Washington, D.C., if a scandal is about to break, this is the woman who will make it disappear. Put the guns down. So he can shoot me? Now the only person who's gonna get shot is me. What? I got this. Guns down! Olivia Pope. I trust my gut, and my gut is what? Never wrong. Never wrong. We're lawyers, but this is not a law firm. We're crisis managers. We make the problems for our client, big or small, go away. You're going to Camp David to meet with the president. Why? We are friends. You and I are friends. He's the leader of the free world. Your life makes me feel unsuccessful. It always comes down to my gut. My gut tells me everything I need to know. 
He killed her and ran. Definitely killed her. We're taking the case. Why do we even bother voting? When you deal in damage control... It would be a mistake to think there will be no consequences to you telling lies about the president. And at number one on the top five trending series is every... That was a whole lot of fun, wasn't it? Come on, you guys admit it. Trending is fun. Trending is where you should be. You can watch us weekdays and also a recap on Sunday. I had incredible amount of fun interviewing Bero and I wish that he'll come back. I do want to see him come back on this show again. Remember that you can follow us. Go on Twitter. We are www.twitter.com forward slash TV. Check us out on Instagram. We are live, we are direct, and we are there. Okay, on Instagram, we are trending on Hit TV. Send us your amazing photographs. Like our page on Facebook. My name is Tokemaki Nwa. See you on the next trending. Goodbye.